Hello, in this video we're going to be revisiting the HP Pavilion G7, taking it apart again and fixing a couple of problems with it. This video will be divided into two parts. I'll leave a time stamp in the description so you can go between the taking it apart and fixing problems. Let's start by taking it apart. Pretty much the only thing you're going to need for this is a screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver. I just have this little itty bitty powered one that I use. It makes things a little easier. Also, you're going to need a little bit of patience as well. We're first going to start by removing this battery. We can do this by just pushing this latch and then popping the battery out. We're going to put this somewhere safe. Next, we're going to remove this screw on the bottom of the laptop. This screw is the only screw that doesn't come out all the way. And once you have that screw out or um, unscrewed, just pull this door towards you and lift it off and put this somewhere safe. Now we're going to remove the RAM. To do this, there are, there are two little um, catches on each side of the RAM. Just pull those out and it should pop off. You're going to grab it by the edges. This is the same process for both RAM sticks. Now, just to the left of the RAM sticks is your wireless card. First, we're going to remove the antennas. So to do that, just grab the antenna and pull straight upwards. This is the same process for both. Now, we can slide those antennas out of the way a little bit. And we can remove this screw. This is the first screw that we're going to come, up, come to that actually comes out. You can see this is the screw of the wireless card. Um, I like to use magnets. This is just an old hard drive magnet. And I like to stick, stick the screws to that and they don't, they don't fall off. Once you have that Wi-Fi card screw removed, just, just like the RAM, it springs up a little bit and you can just slide this out. Put this in a safe spot as well. Now we're going to remove our hard drive. To do this, lift the little connector tab right here, just pull straight up, and then unwind the connector through these um, guiding guiding lines, and then use the connector to just pull the hard drive up and out. Put this in a safe spot as well. Another thing to mention is you want to keep your hard drive away from these magnets. It's really strong and really powerful. You don't want your hard drive to be interacting with these at all. Now we're going to remove the optical drive. To do this, there's a single screw right here that you need to take out. Once that screw is unscrewed, you can get it with your magnet. And now we can come over to our optical drive here and using your fingernails just try to pull this out um, it can be a little difficult so just take your time and you'll eventually get it and then the optical drive just slides out like this you can put this in a safe spot as well now what we're going to do is we're going to remove all 16 screws that are on the bottom of this laptop i can show you here they're here 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 here, 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 there's one there, there, here, 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 and two here, and another one, let me see if I can find it, another one right here. Once you double check to remove all 16 screws from the bottom of the laptop, you go ahead and flip it over and open it up. Now we're going to remove the keyboard. To do this, I'd like to start in this corner. Um, try to get your fingernail underneath this black plastic part. And you can see this one is a bit broken. Um, we're going to be covering that in the second part of this video. Um, you can just lift this up and flip it over. Now, underneath the keyboard, you'll see this little uh, connector here. Um, to remove this connector, just get your fingernail underneath it a little bit, and be careful this one. Lift it up slowly, and then you can just gently wiggle your uh, connector out of here. Now, once you've removed your keyboard, there are four more screws underneath the keyboard that you need to remove. These are the same as the screws that you removed from underneath the laptop, so you can't get them mixed up. 
Now that you've removed the four additional screws, what we're going to do is we're going to remove these connectors here. These two work similar to the keyboard one, whereas you lift up, and in this case it's white, this tab that you lift up, and then you can just slide the connector out with your finger. Make sure it's all the way out though. And then what I recommend doing is you close this back so you don't break that. Same thing with this one over here. Lift it up, slide it out, and close it back. Now this one is a little different. This is your speaker one. Um, you can see, let me zoom in here, sorry. Um, there are two, um, there's, a, there's a connector and there's the, um, this is where the connector goes in, this is connector. What you wanna do is get your fingernails around the connector. I'm sorry you can't see this, but just pull it out, in this case to your right. Now that that's out, what I'm gonna do is zoom out here. And now we can proceed to remove the palm rest assembly. To do this, I like to grab here and put my thumb inside of the optical drive bay and just start pulling it out. Now that you've got that all unclipped, you can go ahead and lift this up. But be careful, the screen is gonna wanna fall back on you. So you might wanna bend this, the screen, towards you and just lift it out. Put this in a space spot as well. Now what we're gonna do inside of here, we're gonna remove the display to make it easier. As you can see, this is really wobbling. Um, so there's four screws, um, two on each side. There are two right here. And on this side, there are two right here. Before we remove those screws though, we're gonna disconnect the display and the um, unroute the wireless antennas. So to, we're gonna start with the wireless antennas. To do that, they're underneath these two connectors, so we're just gonna remove those anyways. Um, so just like the ones underneath the keyboard and the keyboard, lift this black tab up, pull out, and then push it down. This one underneath here, you can just pull, um, try to get it on the connector, um, just pull that out, that just slots out. And on this side, there would be, just like on the hard drive, a black tab you could pull up here. This one doesn't have that, so get underneath there with your fingernail and try to get it out. Now we can remove the display and the screws that go to the display. But before that, again, sorry, um, we're going to unroute these wireless cables here. Make sure that those are easily out of the way. Now that you have those um, display screws removed, what you can do is you can just lift straight up on the display and it should come out freely. You can put this in a safe spot as well. Now since you removed the other two cables on this motherboard already, the only cable we need to remove now is this one right here. Just pull that up, just like the hard drive one, and get it out of the way. There's also one last screw here in the motherboard you can go ahead and unscrew that to access the motherboard. Now that you have all the screws and all the cables removed from the motherboard, you can remove the motherboard itself. To do that, I like to start up in this corner. I like to lift it up. Remember, you want to grab this by its sides. Lift it up and then unslot the connectors. And there you have your motherboard. You can remove the fan if you really want to. I wouldn't recommend doing it yourself because you need to remove these four screws underneath the processor. And once you do that, this whole assembly will come off. The problem with that is um, you, will, you would need to reapply the thermal compound um, underneath the processor. Um, I, wouldn't I wouldn't recommend doing that yourself. But if you want to get to the fan, that's the only way to do it. Thank you for watching this video on how to take apart your HP Pavilion G7 laptop, and I hope it helped you.